G'day and welcome to Mr. Craftsmith. Uh, my name is Darren and I just wanted to run through a couple of processes or techniques today in Lightburn software, which is a common um, software that's used for laser engraving and it's probably, I would say, the most popular. And so what we're going to do is look at a couple of options as how we can actually increase the speed of our burn times. And there's a couple of techniques that we can employ to make that happen. So let's get into it. I'm going to bring in a file that uh, I was using the other day. Uh, now, just while I'm doing that, I'm actually pretty new to this whole um, this whole laser engraving business. So um, I'm sort of learning as I go. So I've just resized that. Now I'm in millimeters because I'm in Australia and that's what we use. So uh, I've, I've just resized this project to be 150 millimeters across. So it's basically a circle and it's got a number of graduations on it uh, for like a compass or, or something along those lines, protractor. And uh, I just wanted to have a play with that and just sort of see what sort of burn times we would be getting out of this particular file. So that's, uh, so for the imperial measurement, that's about six inches across. If we look at this, the, um, on this particular layer, so this is the layer that's on, and it's on a film mode. And I've set that to the engraved settings that uh, I want to use for the material that I'll be using for that one. So that's 4,200 millimeters per minute and that's at 55% power. If we just uh, have a look at the, just straight off the bat, if that's all I was gonna do, I'd, I'd probably do a cut line as well uh, to cut it out onto a circle rather than try and line it up directly onto a circle. But anyway, I digress. For the purpose of this example, we're just gonna look at the engraved times. And so if we jump up into our preview window here and we have a look, I'll just bring that over onto the screen. At the moment, we're looking at 36 minutes, 58 seconds, roughly. So let's call it 37 minutes. Now, the first thing I want to point out here is just showing you the, um, the actual traverse lines, which are the ones showing in red there. And I've got those here. You've got a little tab that you can show those. And uh, basically, I've got this set to playback speed of 40 times just so it's a little bit quicker because I don't want to sit here for 37 minutes watching, showing how this file goes. So if we just have a look at it, so you can see it's just going left to right, right to left. So um, it's going backwards and forwards. And what we can sort of see is that in between that, in between the left hand side and the right hand side, there's a lot of this white space that nothing is actually happening. So that's become uh, quite inefficient in, in, as such to, um, to engrave that file using this particular method. It's going to take 37 minutes, and I know that we can get that a lot quicker. So uh, I'll just pause that one. So the first step that I can do, if you haven't already done this with your machine, so it's not a light burn setting, but it's one of your device settings, it's uh, if you go up into here under the spanner and screwdriver device settings, we can have a look here on other options. Now, the first thing I've, I've purposely turned this off because um, I wanted to sort of show you that first example. But if I turn this on, what it says is fast white space scan. So what that's actually doing is in between all of this file here where you've got all of this white space, we can actually speed up the laser faster than the speed that it's running on the on the actual burn setting. So here we've got 4,200 and I can, let's just go up to say 7,000, 7,000. And so we've got to make sure that that little switch is on and it's green. So now if we, we've not changed anything other than that fast scan setting. So if I go up into the preview again, let's just highlight that one, go into the preview. We can now see that it's dropped down to 23 minutes and 53 seconds. So 23 minutes and 53 seconds, let's call it 24 minutes. So we have just dropped 13 minutes off of our burn time. And um, that's a pretty significant saving, really, just by changing that one setting. And I've set that to 7,000 because I'm using the, uh, I forgot to mention, the Auteur Laser Master 3. So it's, you know, the 7,000 is a pretty reasonable sort of speed for it to be able to maintain and, and not go too crazy. So um, there's a 13-minute saving already. 
Now, the other thing, so it's still traversing left to right, right to left, backwards and forwards, all the way up. And so, yes, it is going a little bit faster in between that um, white space now, and we've saved a fair bit of time. But there's another method that we can actually use to save more time again. And there's a couple of different ways that you can actually do it. So the first way I'll just show you very quickly is to split these into different layers. So that's one method. And then the other one is um, putting them into groups. But so at the moment, it's just one big group. So, you know, if I move it around, you can see that, sort of see that it's just one big group. But what I can do is up here on the menu bar, we can do the ungroup selection. So if I click that one, and then I click it again, because I had set this file up with two groups. So now if I click on something, we can see that everything is actually um, set to individual items. So nothing has been grouped. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a separate layer. And so if I, if I drag and select from the, from the left, uh, which is what I'm doing now, it will only encapsulate everything it will only sort of highlight everything that is fully um, surrounded by that uh, cursor so we can see there i've got that one so if i just zoom in on that one a little bit you can see here that it's gone all the way up to uh, the four four degree mark here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to chuck that on another layer and so now we can see I've got the same settings, exactly the same settings, 4,200 uh, millimeters per minute and 55 degrees. So it's exactly the same as the other layer. Okay, so now let's have a look at the difference here. So by doing this and putting it on a separate burn layer, using it, you, nothing's changing other than it's on a different layer. And, it's, and so this is now one layer and the black is another layer. So if we look at that, we can see there that because we've cut that circle in half, basically, the number, the, the amount of white space has essentially been cut in half. Um, in fact, it's probably even more so because if we look here, if we look down this at this dividing line, we've got a, um, a file, like a, an object down the bottom here. We've got an object up the top, but we've pretty much got nothing in the middle here. Well, we have got nothing in the middle. So um, if we're looking at it on a line basis, uh, this particular line is going to end here. So it's pretty much going to follow the contour of that um, burn or the, of that uh, image path. So now if we jump up here and we look at these ones again and we have a look at our preview, you can see how drastically different the traverse lines have changed. So just by simply putting them on separate layers and just breaking it in half, you can see that we've eliminated all of this white space in the middle. So there's no traversing backwards and forwards here. And you can see our burn time or total estimated time is now down to eight minutes and five seconds. So eight minutes and five seconds. So we went from 37 minutes to start off with. Then by increasing the white space uh, speed, we've dropped it down to 24 minutes. And now we are down to, let's just round it off to eight minutes. So we've gone from 37 minutes down to eight minutes. So that's, I don't know, my math isn't terribly good, but that's about 25%. So uh, if that equates to four times the speed, you know, again, my math isn't terrific, but we've gone from 37 minutes down to eight minutes. So that is saving nearly half an hour on the burn time alone on that particular file just by using that method of splitting them into different layers that makes sense now this is a this is a really easy file to demonstrate this but we will you know at some other point we'll do some more complex um, images where you know it's it's going to be a little bit trickier uh, more than just splitting them out onto one layer but um, that's exactly how you do it so looking at that you can see we've eliminated a lot of that traversing and we've just, so it's just going to zip through all of that in uh, at least a quarter of the time, a little bit more, almost one fifth, almost 20%. So it's almost five times as quick as the original file that we started with. So that's one method. Now, another method to achieve the exact same thing, I'm just going to pop these back on that, that level. 
So they're now all, all of those uh, objects there are on the same level again. So I can do a very similar thing by just selecting again from the right, uh, left to right, and I'm just going to encapsulate and let's have a look. Yep, I've got the exact same ones again up to that four degree mark. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group that file. All right, so that's now one group. And then I'm going to go from here and I'm going to grab all of those objects there and I'm going to group that. So now we have effectively got uh, two groups. We've got the group on the left and the group on the right. So we don't actually have to create another separate layer. But if we go into the uh, settings here, so just by double clicking the speed power, what I can do here, we've got the, you know, we don't have to change anything here. But if we look down here, we've got fill all shapes at once. So anything that's on that layer, it's going to fill. So that's where it will just go left to right and uh, do all of that sort of thing. Now what we can do, the second option here is fill groups together. So because we've now created those two groups, we'll, it'll do this group first on the left and then it'll do that group on the right second. So again, if we look at this, we should, we should see that that should be roughly about the same time and it's seven minutes. So it's another minute saving. So that, that way you, we're not having to worry about uh, creating another layer. We're just putting them into the groups that make sense to print and it eliminates again. I'll just show you that again. And let's make this a little bit bigger. So you can see there that a lot of the, the white space has been, uh, has been eliminated, like as in, so it's not part of the, the tool path or the burn path, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it saves a significant amount of time. So we started at 37 minutes, we're down to seven minutes, and um, that's probably about as fast as I can make that one uh, with my knowledge. But uh, hopefully, hopefully that's helped you out a little bit and you can start to look at your files a little bit differently and say, okay, does it make sense to do it this way? Or what methods can I use to um, improve my burn times and, and get those those times down. So uh, the more time that you can save on any one particular project means you've got more time to uh, create more. And that's what I love to do. It's create every day. So we look forward to catching you for the next one. And bye for now.